Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a vegan cream cheese taste test video. I have five different kinds and I'm going to be trying them on everything bagels. So I'm just going to get started. I don't even want to think about how much I spent on all these cream cheeses, but I'm going to start with the cheapest one first. I don't know why I'm swinging my knife. So the cheapest one by far is the Tra Trader Joe's vegan cream cheese. It looks like this and when I opened it, I spilled a bunch of the juicy juice on me so here we go this is an everything bagel did i say that already i don't remember mm. this is off to a great start this is so good i heard someone say before that the trader joe's one wasn't as tangy and i kind of see that but this is so good it kind of tastes like I used to get like the half the fat cream cheese and it tastes a lot like that. It tastes, I don't know, I guess it tastes like a traditional cream cheese, but I guess it is missing a little bit of the tang, but it's really good. So this Trader Joe's one, honestly, I would give it like a 9 out of 10. It's really good. And because it's so affordable, I feel like I could just eat this one and I wouldn't have to buy any of the other more expensive ones. The most expensive one's six dollars, so that one better be amazing. But this one's really good. And I think for the price, it's delicious. I would give it a nine out of ten. The next one I'm gonna try is the Follow Your Heart Vegan Gourmet Cream Cheese. And this one I think was $3.99. And this one kind of looks like a whipped. It's more of like a whipped consistency, where the other one was kind of more of just like a you know, typical cream cheese consistency. Mm. This one's good. It kind of tastes the most vegan. It tastes kind of like the little taste you get from like the diet cheese. That kind of comes through even though this isn't even diet, it's follow your heart. It doesn't really taste like the follow your heart cheese. I've only tried the American cheddar one. This one's good. I would give this one like a 7 out of 10. It's good. It was $3.99 I believe. I'm going to put the prices. But um, it kind of tastes like something's a little off. The other one tasted just like normal cream cheese. I would just think that was like a different brand of regular dairy cream cheese. And this one tastes like a little off. You know what I mean? Next two that I'm going to try were really similar in price. So it doesn't matter which one I'm going to try first. But I'm going to try the Daya Plain. They have different flavors of this Daya one. But since I was trying all the plain, I mean, you know, I was trying the plain in every one. This one has the same kind of like typical cream cheese texture. I feel the same way about this dye one. I do the follow your heart. It's good, but something about it's kind of off. It kind of has like a dye taste to it. And this one I think was $5. Or like $5.99. This one was expensive. They also have a chai flavor and a strawberry flavor, I think. Maybe the chai one would be better. But because the Trader Joe's one was so good, that was such a great start. I feel like this one's just kind of meh. Um, yeah, maybe like a 7 out of 10. It just kind of has like a weird aftertaste. Um, same thing with the Follow Your Heart. It just kind of tastes like it's a vegan cream cheese, not like... It's just an off-brand of regular cream cheese. The next one I'm going to try is the Tofuti Better Than Cream Cheese Milk-Free No Butter Fat. This one looks like a typical cream cheese. And I think this one was, um, again, like $5. This Tofuti one's good. It doesn't have the weird aftertaste like the Daya and the Follow Your Heart brand, but it also tastes a little bit sweeter than the Trader Joe's one. So this one, I would give like an eight out of 10. It's good. And if I hadn't tried the Trader Joe's one first, I probably would think this one was really good. Um, but I don't know, I still, for the price, that one was like $5, I would still buy the Trader Joe's one. And this is the big kahuna, the Kite Hill plain one. I know a lot of people like the Kite Hill chai one but i just got the plane and it's kind of plopped in there really weird it's not like smooth like the other ones the 
This one's made out of almond milk. Mm. It's good though. Taste wise, I prefer, except for this one leaks. I don't know why, this, there's just like water in this one. Taste wise, I prefer the Trader Joe's one over the Kite Hill. And price wise and availability, the Trader Joe's one, if you have a Trader Joe's, you know, it's gonna be more accessible. But I also think it just tastes better. It has just a little bit of a better taste. Um, if you do have a Whole Foods and you like this Kite Hill one, maybe the Chive one is really good. Trader Joe's, this is the only one that they have. They don't have a, you know, chive flavor. They don't have other flavors. And this one they do have, I think it's chive and onion. That one might be really good and might be worth the money. But for as far as plain, I would get the Trader Joe's one. So Trader Joe's would be my first favorite taste-wise. Kite Hill second. Then I would say Tofuti. It's pretty good, but it's kind of expensive. And, you know, it kind of... It was just okay. And then these two are like coming in dead last. The Follow Your Heart and the Dea. I'm probably going to eat them up just because they're not bad. They just taste a little off. That was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything else you want me to try, leave it in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. So excited. Mm. Oh, my gosh, ew. Oh, uh, I just got cream cheese water all over my shirt. My sweet summer's gone And on my mirror she made it clear Lipstick can't be wrong My summer, summer, my sweet summer is gone